Yeah, whatever. You know, yeah, whatever. Uh, whatever. All right, whatever. Get that shit out of here. I don't have time for it. What do you mean? I just don't feel like waiting. That song goes hard at the end. I just don't really feel like waiting for it, you know? I just don't have time. I just don't have time. I just... Oh! I'm not waiting around for that fucking song. <sighs> boy, oh boy, did I have a day yesterday. Boy, oh boy, oh golly. <laughs> oh. No one noticed what happened. <laughs> No one noticed what happened, but I noticed what happened, and it really it really took the wind out of my sails for stream yesterday. What happened yesterday? I'm gonna wait till more people are here. Or else I'm gonna have to repeat it 13,000 times. Was it bad? It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Hang on, I'm... I wanna make sure I've got my... My Im images in order. <laughs> Katie, uh, time yourself out for that one. Thanks. No one gets away that easy. Yeah. I've been spending the last like fucking six days. <laughs> No, that's not true. The last like three days, slowly but surely setting up uh, a totally, a totally, uh, totally just fine and allowed to use a version of Bloodborne that magically for some reason is running at 60 FPS and works with uh, a randomizer. I definitely found that that way. I found it that way on the ground. I definitely don't have it working on some kind of... Look, guys. It's fine. I definitely didn't go onto Etsy and pay a premium for a specific version of PS4 firmware. I definitely didn't do that. I have not paid for... I did not pay for a specifically old version of a PS4. I did not do that. Etsy does that. Dude, there's some weird... If I need, like, specific, like, industry weird shit, or, like, really any weird shit, someone on Etsy is like, I got you, I'm selling exactly the specific firmware version you need to make Bloodborne... Run at 60 FPS on a PS4. Which you'd you'd think it would be more complicated than that, but no, it's actually that easy. So what was the catch? I had to pay uh like four hundred dollars for a PS4 again. Maybe five hundred. That was the catch, is that I had to buy another PS4. $400 for 30 frames. Have you not been listening? <laughs> Wait, have you not been listening to the entire thing I've been saying the whole time? Pay attention, dun dingus. Fucking dingus. But then Bloodborne on PC releases next week, right guys? <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, at least it's a tax write-off. This might be the first time I've truly bought something and I know I'm only going to use it for stream and therefore it is fully tax write-offable. Uh, I've never had one that's 100% written off on my taxes like this one is. I have no use for this. <laughs> Beyond specifically what I wanna do for streams, I have no use for this thing. It is a brick on my desk. Is it worth it? I mean, honestly, dude. 
the si the trade off of 60 FPS, you have to run Bloodborne at 720p. That's that's the that is the trade off. I can't notice like I noticed the like the resolution shift, but it's not that bad. Like it's actually really not because once it's in motion, it doesn't matter. Like genuinely, like it's mostly it's no. We've look, we're in a post Switch world. <laughs> Where Nintendo's basically encouraged 720p to be something we still accept to this day. So, like, I, it's really not that big of a deal. You know? The 60 FPS is very, very clear, though. To the point where, like, I'm like, yeah. But, I mean, I was running it with, like, an FPS counter to check whether or not it was actually holding it because, like, that's the thing is there's a, again there is a reason that they didn't do bloodborne at 60 fps at launch and it's because base ps4s were not strong enough to do it technically i'm using a ps4 pro and even that most of the time isn't stable at 60 it's more like it's stable at like 55 to 45 like it's stable in there you're not really getting a perfect 60 on this game It's kind of like a soft 60, but it feels way better than playing it at 30. I did compare the two. It's definitely a better experience, I think, both to play and watch than doing it at a higher resolution, but a lower frame rate. So that's pretty cool. I feel like I never noticed the frames. Oh, that's because you got bad eyes. That's because you got bad eyes. You can't see well. But yeah, I mean, if I'm going to fucking go through the whole process of setting all this shit up, I'm going to play it at 60 FPS the way God did not intend. The way that we all know now that no one that made this game intended evidently from the fact they refused to fix it. We know what I'm doing is blasphemous, apparently. I am the, I am the Icarus of game. <laughs> I'm flying so close to the sun now. Yes. But yeah, uh, I'm, I don't, I know that I just recently talked about, like, I don't want to talk about planning things until I have them set up. I've got this one set up. All I'm doing now is like basically picking a good day to do it. So that will be at some point in the next like week or so. But, um, yeah, I definitely will say this, the randomizer, this isn't a randomizer that you can crack open and be like, I don't like how this is working and then like change half of the settings so we are this isn't gonna be like a we randomize it 30 times this is going to be it is randomized one time and that is what we're playing because uh it takes about an hour to fully recompile and set up the game after there's like there's basically no way to correct that but it's also got a lot more options than most randomizers, so it should be, it shouldn't be that hard to find something that works. But I'm likely not going to have it set for like bosses outside of boss rooms because simultaneously, a PS4 isn't like a, it isn't like a normal PC that has a lot of like RAM and power in it to handle suddenly a lot of enemies that were not intended to be outside of one specific zone. Uh. You know, it doesn't have that kind of power, so it's a lot more prone to crashing if you push it too hard. So, it's mostly going to be... It will be randomized. There will be full randomization for enemies and items, but it is going to be more, you know, more carefully tuned because the alternative is finding out that I have a build that crashes like when we enter a certain zone and there's no way to fix it but to spend... 30 minutes fully reinstalling a backup seed I made. It's not easy. It's not a fast process. So, well, it'll probably be a little bit more tame than, like, a version of, like, 
a Elden Ring randomizer where you can close it and fucking like immediately shuffle the whole deck because this is on a PS4. Like <laughs> this is something on a PS4. When will games just start including a randomizer option as either in-game content or paid DLC? May I don't know. May, probably, probably never. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of work when most people just make it for them within about fifteen minutes. I mean, like, and also simultaneously making a paid DLC for something like that seems pretty hard, considering yeah, people would like. That's like one of those things that seems like randomizers are the first things people mod into games. Uh, so like. Yeah, trying to paywall that is fucking actually funny because most they're like modders will probably beat the devs to it. You know. If Bloodborne were so good, why is there no Waterborne? Hee. <laughs> Is what I would say if it was funny. <laughs> is what I would say if I was actually laughing. But I wasn't. But yeah, I took yesterday off chat because um, I got fucking hyper tilted by YouTube. By a YouTube situation regarding my channel. Not my VOD channel my old decrepit channel which i treat as a historical archive of my old work um now what happened was like a week ago i disconnected fully from rooster teeth i was like the last of my friends that was technically still connected to rooster teeth because i hadn't used my channel in two years uh so i wasn't i was just dis I, it was just still on my thing and I was reached out to, and they were like, hey, so uh, we, you can just like get off the thing and then you won't have to worry about it anymore. And I was like, that's awfully kind of you to remind me, thank you, because obviously I'd rather have it disconnected now than forget about it in 10 years, like not know any, not have any contact and not be able to like isolate, like get out of there if I needed to. Uh, fast forward to yesterday, and my little big planet video is taken off of my channel. Uh, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. Uh, where is it? Um, and I found out <laughs> that uh, I had received a. Hang on, I'm pulling up the image because it's 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 very wild. It's wild that this happened. I literally received a copyright strike uh, from Rooster Teeth LLC uh, for. My Little Big Planet video that I made claiming that they owned it as a result of a preview that I gave to them specifically so it could be run at the panel we did at RTX. The thing they're referencing in this is a preview that I aired for that video for the panel. And, uh, okay, sorry, it's not a copyright strike. It was a claim and then essentially a copyright strike because they made it invisible. They literally forced it to private and there was nothing I could do about that. And for me, that was the last video I'd ever made on my channel. So it like extra stung because it was like, that was like the last thing I ever made. Like I want, like that one's especially important to me because it was the last thing I made. Uh, doubly stung because while, and I'm going to like full disclosure, I'm trying to not like say this in a way that's like extra targeted towards anyone because this was a, initially very concerning, but it was quickly dealt with within a day. And now the video's back up uh, because my, at the very least, the contact I have to Rooster Teeth is a fucking absolute badass and took care of it very quickly but 
I, it was a serious concern that this says manual review. <laughs> this is, it says manual review. Which means someone consciously opted to take this down. To my knowledge. Like that's, that's a, that means that someone went down a thing and clicked something. It doesn't mean they looked through the whole thing and fully thought about it, but something somewhere clicked something. Manual review on YouTube means it was an AI managing a lesser AI. Yeah, but someone had to say that the Little Big Planet preview was something that Rooster Teeth owned and was therefore subject to copyright for, on their behalf. They never owned this. This was never anything. Matter of fact, I don't recall ever giving them, like that's the thing is I ran the preview for this Little Big Planet thing out of my own laptop. out of my own laptop to a projector at the convention. So I don't know where this version came from. If that makes sense. Like, I actually, like, I don't know if I misread it, but I literally don't know. And that's why it was so confusing. It was like, oh, I know the preview. That was like the, I don't remember doing that. I don't remember handing that to anyone. You know, but yeah, then I was like, okay, well, that's a stupid issue. Uh, that's insane. Obviously, it would be wild for Rooster Teeth to care about that. So I didn't really, it was more of like a, well, shit, now I need to get this fixed. And then I like, and then I sent in a like appeal because I was like, obviously, like once someone looks at this, they're going to acknowledge that this is obvious. Like if I send in an appeal, and I record, like, I fill them in that, like, this is a preview I made for a convention panel. Uh, obviously, this is my, I am the sole owner that was never part of my contract that anyone would ever own this thing. Uh, I got denied on the appeal within about 10 minutes. Uh, immediately auto rejected. So at that point, Surely a denial is AI right? Yeah, I mean, the issue I have here is more of that. Imagine if I'm getting something this insanely specific and totally insane. Like, imagine people that don't have a contact. Like, how bad it must be. Like, if I wasn't still for extremely fortunately two, three years out of the gate of being really, like, working anything with Rooster Teeth. If I didn't still have a contact, I wouldn't be getting this video back at that point and that's the problem is that this isn't like about this it's about the fact that like i wouldn't be getting it back at that point i'm very lucky that the person that i know that's still over there had my back but like it's wild that i did that's that's the insane that i did so it's like yeah, no, that took an immense amount of wind out of my sails yesterday because I was like, well, that was almost the last thing I ever made on YouTube gone forever for like being claimed for something that quite literally uh, they did not have any right to have on any kind of copyright claiming system on my behalf. That's the thing that bugged me is that it was like, that's absolutely not something that should be in their system. And then it kind of wigged me out because I was like, well, what else might be on it? Am I going to get like, 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 surely that's the only thing, right? It kind of just like freaked me out because I was like, I don't want to have to, like, I don't like thinking about my old channel. If not in like a bad way, but it's like a, I, it's there. It is an old archive of videos I made like four, three years ago. And that's all it is. Like, I want to leave it there. I don't want to have to worry about it. And I was forced yesterday to like basically confront the fact that like, <laughs> that I mean, like that it was just wild. That's the first time I've had to deal with like any kind of like serious like copyright stuff that was actually going to like yoink something off of my channel completely. And it just kind of like fucking ruined my day. But yeah, it is now dealt with. So that's very cool. Shout out to my rooster teeth 
contact i still have you are a real one a for real real one and i appreciate that The only reason I don't use their name is because for the sake of privacy, considering I am upset to some extent at Rooster Teeth at large for this, I would prefer to that to not be stuff I go into detail about. But yeah, very frustrating. It was also like, <laughs> it technically, it went back online quickly, but the one thing, and still this is, I think, something I'll continue to worry about now forever, about that video specifically, is it went public again, but the company didn't fully surrender, like, oh yeah, that was a fuck up, in the sense of like, it was public because they allowed it, but ads were still fully blocked on it, because they desired that to be the case. Like, basically, like, what happened was I was given, like, the video was made back public, but it still showed, I don't give a fuck, I don't run ads on the YouTube channel. If they're running on that channel, it's because I got reset when I got disconnected, uh, like, last week. But, like, I don't run ads, I don't care about that, but it's it means that it's still something that's technically under their umbrella, despite everything. And that worries me because it's like, okay, in three more years, what if I don't have someone I can reach out to and some fucking switch is flipped and suddenly that video is gone? I really, ha I, like, as soon as it happened, I saved the video and I was like, well, worst case, if, you, if Twitch, if like, I actually can't get this video back on YouTube, I'll like upload it to fucking Twitch where they can't copyright it and I'll just put it in as like a highlight forever so I don't lose it. But yeah. Wild time, man. Wild time. Didn't see that coming yesterday. Yeah, so I was like, I can't stream because I'm going to be so toxic. Like, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. He's already toxic. But I mean, like, an extra tier that you've never seen before. Like, that, that might have been, like, the most, like, fucking, like, frustrated and on edge I've been in a while. It would have been extreme advanced toxicity. So I was just like, yeah, no way. I don't want to ruin someone's day. I don't want to bring other people into my bullshit, but I'm simmered down now. Now it's just like, oh boy, I hope that this never happens again. I hope I don't look at my email and see anything about this ever again. I'm glad it emailed me or I would never have known. Because <laughs> I don't go on that channel either. Like, it's just, like, it's just there. I just leave it there. I don't, like, navigate it or anything. I don't use it for things. Was that part of the off vibes yesterday in the D&D &D game? No, we were just hanging out and playing the game. <laughs> you guys, you guys, uh, just to be clear, for D&D, &D, we are all good friends and that shit all stays out of there anything about vibes and off vibes is bits wildly a, li a little parasocial a little it's mostly just in your head if you think that there's actually some kind of issue you don't have to overanalyze it Like, it's like, it is, I have noticed before that, like, when <clears throat> RP gets a little serious and voices gets raised and, like, stuff gets, like, very reactionary that people think that's, like, not RP anymore for some reason, <laughs> and it is, I can assure you of that. <laughs> My 5,000 page writ analysis of Tomato Gaming says he would never have reacted that way unless he was seriously pee pissed off. P O did. Yeah. 
It's okay to yell at people in RP, dude. It's all about playing the character. If it makes sense, and you double back if you're worried about it to make sure that the other person also knows that it was just an RP, then it's all good. There's never been a single moment that I haven't had a serious moment in RP and I haven't like taken the person aside after the session and been like, how was that? Like, where are, is everything like, are we both in agreement that that was like, okay? Like that's cause that's how you are a good player in someone's game and a good party member. Like you still make sure that shit is left in that, like uh, every time. You know? Cause if anyone in the party, when we had like a like heated moment was like, I did not like that dynamic in the game. Cause we're obviously not going to get into it live. If someone was ever, if I ever checked in and someone was ever like that, I'd be like, all right, I'll rate it back from now on. I won't get like that anymore. But like, that's not, that's not been happening. You know? I'm updating the wiki to write that it's all fake. Smash. Everything I know is a lie, dude. People act like if you raise your voice at your friends, you won't be friends more. Dude, some of the most formative and important parts of friendships with people is being able to get mad at them and then deconstruct why you got mad at them in a conversation with them after. Outside of RP. In RP, none of it matters anyways because it's in RP. Real friendship is being able to tell someone fuck you and them going explain. Yeah, pretty much. It's okay to talk to people. <laughs> Talking about problems is healthy. Dude, the amount of times that my... Actually, no, I don't, I don't want to go... <laughs> I, was about, I was about to say something that is an extremely nice thing I wanted to say about a very good friend, but I don't want to get into it because I don't know if they'd prefer that to remain private. Well, anything bad, it was just like, you know... All I'm saying is I've had many friends that have reached out to me and have been like, hey, I don't like how this played out or like, hey, I didn't, can we, are we good? And it's like, I, that shit's great because I'm glad people feel comfortable enough to reach out to me and talk to me about things, you know? Tomato hides the pants pisser friend. I'm never gonna tell you guys which one of my friends pissed their pants. You're never gonna get them. Wait, that's real? <laughs> For sure, dude. Yeah, there is one pisser in the group. It's just you have to find them. The pisser is real. They're real, chat, and they are out there. <laughs> the loathsome pants pisser. But yeah. Yeah, there were no bad vibes. Any vibes you perceive, any weird dynamic things that you perceive are there, are typically just you. Every time. You've made the vibes in your head, you see. You're sick. You got owned. Yeah. 
It means you watch too many streams. Relatable, though. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Bro. Honestly, it was good character development. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I would never watch a stream live. That's okay. I mean, you're in one right now, though. Also, worst name of 2023. Change it now. Change it right now, actually. You should change your name now. Nah, dude. Real, real Twitch staff gave me this name and took it away from someone else named Tomato on Twitch. Real Twitch staffers did that for me. And then I didn't stream once they gave me this name for two more years. I won! I won! Kinda disrespectful. I didn't ask for it. What I, I, feel, I know I've told this story before, but basically what happened is I wanted to change my, my channel name. So I just started, I, and I was already partnered on the old channel. So I just started streaming on a new channel and wanted to get partnered again. And when Twitch noticed, they were like, yo, are you good? You already have one. You already have a channel that's partnered. And I'm like, yeah, I just don't like that one. And they were like, oh. Oh. Then why are you flexing about it? Flexing about what? Flexing about getting the name? Of course I flex about getting this name. I have one of the most powerful names on the channel. On the entire site. Of course I flex about this. It's not even a weird flex. You don't? Alright, let's relax, Shrumple. Alright? Let's relax. Like an S name. S name! Playing to the meta, huh? Kinda cringe. I shiggy diggy do up. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Literally playing to the meta. Look, chit, some of us have to put random meaningless Roman numerals in our names. Dude, at what point do you just put in the actual fucking number, though, you know? Like, without the numerals, just put in the number. Was that because you couldn't get the old one? Like, the normal numbered one? Because, never because streamers like you shame those people. Every day, someone creates an account that is SEO doomed. And they destroy any chance they have of being a world-renowned Twitch streamer and tears fall from my eyes. Tears of joy, because that's less competition for me. Every day. Yeah, I'm basically talking out of my ass. <laughs> I'm basically talking out of my ass, but it is fun. He hates Dave 5005. <gasps> yeah, his SEO's beans, man. His SEO is freaking beans, man. If I look up Dave, I'm not gonna find Dave. You know? And but then again, then again, once again, talking out of my ass. If you look up a tomato, you're not gonna see me. <laughs> You'll probably see tomato Fortnite. 
Even if you scroll all the way down before you saw me. Because this channel probably gets more unique traffic. Cause that's how SEO works. Tomato Fortnite is never toxic to his chatters. Yeah, but I don't care about that. Yeah, but I, I don't want to be like them. I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be like them, though. Whatever they are, I shall be the opposite. Immediately. Dude, it sucks. It's finally gotten to the point where it's hot on Earth again. <laughs> you guys know that crazy thing where like the seasons change and it starts to get warmer like everywhere, like really quick. It's fucking happening again. I have, I, I, I'm like sort of like hot. Like my, my temperature has risen and I need to run the AC to like cool it down. But when I do that, people complain. It gets so loud and I can't, I can't, my microphone. The only time I can do is when I'm in like discord calls because my microphone cuts that out. It's so hot in here. It's like 75 in here. It's bad, man. It's really bad. I hate this. A humid 75. 75 Celsius? What did you just say, brother? Did you just use a C at the end? Wait, you think 75 is hot? My dude. I'm not saying 75 is hot. I'm saying it's getting warm. And I miss when it was cold, my dude. My dude. My room is usually around 70. Across like the year until it's until it's summer. Time for VR. Yo, actually, you know what just came in the mail yesterday? My fucking, I bought those VR like lenses so I can see, dude. Next time I'm in VR, I'm going to start crying, sobbing uncontrollably as the blurry lines in the distance become just ever so, so slightly less blurry, but still blurry because it's still just VR. But I, I, I'm going to have my Logan Paul moment. Yes. Oh my God. This is going to freaking change everything for me. I mean, it'll change nothing for any of you. If I ever do a VR stream, you literally will receive no visual difference whatsoever. <laughs> it's for me, not you. But if you thought I was good at aiming in VR before, huh? Yeah, right. Huh? I'll be able to read the chat. Yeah, that is actually true. It is kind of hard to read chat in VR because it's always been a little blurry. But I just thought that was all. Dude, if someone didn't know what glasses were, they think that's how eyes work. You know what I mean? If, if, if they had blurry eyes and they didn't know anyone else that was like, you know, you can fix that. They think that's normal. I had astigmatism for a long time between like that came into play between like six years where I didn't get my like my glasses prescription updated because nothing else really got bad but the astigmatism. And I didn't know that wasn't normal. I didn't know that. I just thought that eventually I was gonna have very cinematic eyes, you know? I just thought my eyes were getting very cinematic. I was getting a lot of lens flare. Whoa, badass. <laughs> Whoa, hey. My eyes are getting fucking, I'm getting a lot of fucking streaking. <laughs> Michael Bay eyes. No, it's not normal. No, matter of fact, it's not.
He's constantly living in a 2010 Star Trek movie, essentially. And like, if no one ever told me, if when I went to the like eye doctor to get my prescription updated, if they didn't look at me and go, man, your eyes are crazy. I would never have known. I would never have known I would have lived a life of honestly, just like having a really hard time I don't know. Actually, it really didn't affect that much for me. Honestly, my life was still pretty good. Like, it really... Me getting rid of that didn't really, like, fix anything. But, you know, it was cool. My eyes just keep improving every day I keep seeing further and further. Go fuck yourself. Dude! Have you ever had an ocular migraine where you get this massive rainbow spot in your vision blinding you? I thought my eyes were disconnecting from my brain. I've never had that. But I always do find it fun when someone replies to something that like a mod says with huh? Like they just said something unbelievably cursed that a normal chat member would say. It's like exciting. Well, it was scary. The worst thing that I have happen to my eyes sometimes is that thing where like you stand up too quick and your eyes like black out and your whole brain feels like it's dying and then you like get really lightheaded, you know? When like, when you get that like fucking weird like creeping darkness. <laughs> it's, it sounds a lot scarier than it is. It doesn't happen to me that much. And I know it's normal. Well, relatively normal. Blood flow, yeah. Dude, I mean, I have circulation problems. My fingers and toes, they are constantly uh, at war with my body. They want to be removed. <laughs> they don't want to be here, apparently. They don't let blood in. They want to become sovereign states. They want to become isolated from the union that is my full body. He's turning into a Minecraft character. It's bad. Dude. Chat, I have an important conversation to bring up today as well. Uh, I was hanging out with some friends in a Discord call the other day. And they were getting very deeply upset at SciFry for establishing that he wears white socks as if that was some kind of sick disgusting crime and then I confirmed I also wear white socks and then they looked to me as if I had just like killed someone right in front of them and then they called me dripless I don't have drip. I'm not pimping. That's literally verbatim what they said to me. They called me dripless and that I'm not pimping. Imagine that. I went out there to back up my friend Cyfry because I too own and wear white socks. I own black socks too. I just also own and wear white socks. I'm constantly dying from my ice cold feet that literally need to be fully encased in cloth to sustain themselves and yet I'm dripless and yet I'm not pimping and they were like you live like that and I'm like I just I wake up I put on my socks and I walk about 30 feet to my office chair and I work I don't there's not I'm not going I'm not dressing to impress on a fucking Tuesday like, I'm not doing that on my Tuesday. On Tuesday, I'm working. I got shame. And then for the rest of the evening, any time that, like, any we were watching, like, reality TV, any time a character would show up, they'd be like, guess what? They're not wearing white socks. And then they'd look at me in cypher like we were animals that needed to be taught how to function. And I was like, I just, 
wear socks. <laughs> I just wear socks. I just wear socks and now I feel like, I feel like I have to, dude, you know what? Here's the thing. It didn't make me think I need to like get rid of my white socks. It made me clock that I need to wear more white socks out of spite. It actually like, I'm like the opposite where I was like, all right, it's game time. It's game time. I'm going to be the most dripless, milk toast motherfucker. I mean, I already usually am. I'm going to escalate to the point where it's hard to look at me. It's going to be hard to observe me in motion because your eyes will choose to focus on other things in the background because it just clocks me as nothing. I will double down so hard. I will go to war. Twenty twenty three dripless and not pimping. I think that of like all. I think I may truly be, of all my friends, the one who cares the absolute least about what the fuck they're wearing. Like beyond. Like I would. It, it, I will be the John Arbuckle. All right, I will open up. I will wear the same thing every day. I'm a cartoon character. I'll open it up, open up the closet. 30,000 shirts, all the same. And that's okay. That's okay. Is it? For me, yeah. Dude, the best thing that happened to me was when I became, like an adult on my own and I realized that I cared truly so little <laughs> there is like points in my life where I've given a genuine shit and then they've all washed away as my back pain has increased as the magnitude of pains here points at my body went up the amount of time I have to concern myself with the pain I give to others by when they look at me, how much it hurts their eyes has gone down. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like it's, it's actually equivalent. Like it's just the, as time goes on, I just care less and less because I'm more, I'm not because if I had more time, like if I didn't have a bunch of distractions going on all the time, here points at my body maybe i'd care more but when my feet don't have socks on them my feet die they actually start to obtain frostbite in a room that is 80 degrees fahrenheit so i like i don't i don't live like that i can't i'm fighting for my life and they're talking about how dripless i am <laughs> you can't you can't you shouldn't do that that's bad taste I'm literally fighting for my life. They should be calling me a hero. All ice, no drip. I'm fine, Chad. It's just, look. I... I will forever dispose of all of my not perfectly just white and gray socks. I will pivot to 40 packs of like just white athletic socks forevermore. You have my word! Looks down at my feet wearing white socks and slip-ins for support. This is where I am. I am happy. I am in my lane. I am thriving. Completely dry. No drips of anything for fucking miles. Isn't it 75? Why are you wearing socks? Okay, you want to know another reason why I kind of wear socks all the time and also like literally need to have something on my feet? My cats are getting old, guys. They're real old. Their bodies don't work very good, and there's always something nasty on the floor. There's always some nasty shit. All right, I I don't I don't go around with without I don't go around barefoot. I can't. 
all right? Not because there's always something, but because anyone that owns a pet knows that the one time you're walking around in the darkness and your feet somehow aren't touching down on hardwood, even though you've been walking on hardwood for the last eight steps, and you know there's supposed to be hardwood there and hardwood doesn't squelch, uh, that is the darkest moment of your life, I think. I think that's the darkest moment of anyone's life. That, like, I have lived thousands of years in the exact second of when I stepped in my cat's nasty creation. Okay? <clears throat> like, the, I, I see a thousand worlds where that didn't happen. I see every timeline that split from this one. Millions of timelines split where every single one of them is simply that I stepped around it. But being someone that's up at night, okay, I am their janitor. <laughs> I am their janitor, okay? I, I, it's just me out here. All right. Fighting for my life. Yeah, you do that once or twice. You uh, accept that socks and some kind of pl like shoe are it. And I don't like walking around in my actual shoes in my house. My feet feel too captured, you know? Still dorky though. <sighs> if any streamer out here actually claims they're not a fucking dork, they are lying to themselves and doing themselves a disservice. They are all dorks. <laughs> We are all fucking dweebs. I don't know what to say. Even Sam? Come on, give me a fucking break. <laughs> give me a fucking break, Jack. Come on. They're all dorks! They're all dweebs! He plays League! Dude. Give me a fucking break. You should seriously invest in slippers or Uggs. I've discussed exactly why I don't invest in slippers anymore, and it's because I... Look, chat, I need things that are going to last a long time, or I can buy in, like, 80 bulk. You know what I mean? I need stuff I can purchase wholesale, or that will stay functional through constant use for, like, two years. And slippers, they fucking fall apart within, like, six months of constant use they start getting there they start like deteriorating and just because they deteriorate doesn't mean i'm not going to keep using them until they fully disintegrated on my feet so like i <laughs> i i need i use stuff that's gonna last a while all right Swear to God, find a cobbler. Best shoes ever. My actual shoes are fucking good. I love my shoes. Like, my, my, everyone's got their shoes that they main. You know what I mean? Their main pair. That if they gotta do something, they're wearing those shoes. All right. I've got my, I've got my main shoes. They're waterproof because I ain't letting my socks get wet if it's wet outside. I'm not going to worry about a fucking, you know, like puddle getting in my way. Reveal the brand, Karen. I don't remember the brand, but I like, I like them so much that I like my good news is to my knowledge, uh, as of 10 years ago, my feet don't grow anymore. So I like liked them so much that I would, once I got them. I purchased another two pairs <laughs> and they're just sitting in the back. So when those ones are gone, I'll just pull the next one out. It's good shit. It, it was like the best, I like, it gives me so much peace of mind. You know, how old are these fucking shoes? Eh, like these ones uh, that I'm using, the current pair is like maybe three years and it hasn't shown any signs of like getting up there. It still looks pretty much the same. 
Do they still look good still? Well, they're fully like black shoes, pretty much black and white. So like it's, it's not like there's something that like visibly you're going to be able to tell are. Yeah, they're Heelys. <laughs> I got my Heelys. I'm shredding. I'm having the time of my life. I'm in my lane. I'm feeling wicked. White socks. Having a good time. All right. <clears throat> Ew. I just can't believe how. Look, chat. At what point is it someone else's problem? You know what I mean? Like, when you say something like, yeah, I wear white socks, and the other person goes, that's nasty. You're nasty. You're a freak. You're a sick bastard. It's like, at what point does that sound more like they're the nasty freak? You know? At what point is it that? You know, when they when such a hard stance is made, when I am declared to be dripless and not pimping simply because I wear socks because my feet are cold and not because I want to impress someone with my feet. You know? I like how I walked out here to talk about this funny story and I pulled Cypher out with me against his will as like a look I'm not alone this is the guy who started it but yet I I I actually sustained the privacy of all the other parties that actively actively were the aggressors <laughs> That's wild Name and shame them too I honestly, the reason I don't is because I don't want to re- I don't want to have any, like, I don't want to have to deal with it. You know what I mean? They got so heated about it. It got wild out there. It got wild out there. I don't know if I want to, like, restart that whole situation. You know? He's afraid of retaliation. Well, I mean, no, I'm not afraid. Chat, the one place I'm not afraid of retaliation is when, like, I'm on stream because it's like, come on. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna... You know where you are right now. You walk into my fucking house. You gonna retaliate here? The only one with a mic. All right is incredibly biased to his side. The only one with a mic is very biased. I can ignore any message I don't want to read. If I win every argument. I win every argument. Every time. I can't lose. And then I can just back down super hard privately on Discord later. It's so easy to win. <laughs> it was just a bit, it was just a bit, please. Please relax. Add white socks to your Minecraft avatar? Dude. I've been really enjoying playing Create Astral with everyone, but I feel bad because I keep going like, yeah, Benji, I'll build this thing. Hell yeah, dude, I'll do this part. And then I like, then I sit down and I try to decide what I'm going to do for like the two hours I have before I need to do other stuff. And I'm like, I can't. I just fucking can't. I can't path is like I can invest five minutes in the path and be happy but in, in create astral I like I don't know if I'm gonna get that happiness out of it or not but think of the machines well here's the thing Benji's on that gamer addict phase of create which I get I was there and at a certain point the best thing you can do for your friend despite the fact it's a multiplayer server 
is allow them to cook. He doesn't need me, I don't think. I think I think the most confusing thing you can have happen and create is someone else get into the kitchen and try to help you cook. Because I know that fucked me up when I was playing it with Lawman. It was like if something got changed, stun luck. Full stun luck. Why not make your own kitchen? I already made my own kitchen. A server ago. Stares longingly into the distance. I already cooked once. Tear falls from eye, wipes it away. Nice turd factory though. Fuck you. Fuck you! My factory slapped. You are wrong. Sam was asking Benji about when you guys are going to do trains. We've been able to do trains for eons. Trains are not that expensive. They were like, at, they were phase one of like this. Like we're on like chapter four. That was chapter one was trains. We just skipped it. Trains after Mars apparently now, but that's fundamentally just not true. It's fine. That's fine. And we have yet to see a single one. I could log onto the server and finish making a train before I needed to switch to the other game. Like I could literally do it in 20 minutes and then switch back to playing what I want to play today. I could do it. Prove it? No. Chat, we already have the heart. We literally have the one block we need sitting outside of the house. You just need to, we already have the rails down. You just put down a fucking like station, which is probably cheap as hell. And then right click with the fucking like train frame and it's done. You, trains are done. Like we already have the block. Well then do it. People demand a train. I'm not rail brothers. <sighs> Chad, I'm not. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to check something. Chat. <laughs> it might finally be time. Hang on. Wait a minute. I gotta pull open this. Oh, it's been a month. <laughs> <clears throat> Mods, I'm officially disabling the Nightbot command. It's been a month. <laughs> I do believe... My, I, I do believe I'm no longer being paid for this. Uh, I, I, let me, let me, let me just do a quick, quick confirmation of that. But I, I do, I do believe I am done. It's gone now. Campaign duration, 30 days! Holy! Hang on. Mods, uh, ban stream element bot. No, wait, hang on. I should do it myself. Get the fuck out of here. Forever. Cashed out. <laughs> Contract closed. Cashed out. Should I block the term? Get it out of here, too. Yeah. 30 days was all they paid for, baby. 30 days. For real, though, uh, if they want to reach back out, get another 30 days. Did you remove the panel? I'll do that later. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like duping my audio when I go to my fucking panel page. I'll do that later. Simple as that, man. But it was Pog. But it was Pog. We can all, can all of us agree that it was pretty Pog? Remove the tweet. True. <laughs> True. That 
one I should get. I should get that one. I should go clean that up. It's funny because I have to keep like referring to the Google Doc. <laughs> because because if I delete anything, everything, it should be fine. It's been 30 days. But at the same time, it's like if I were to delete anything now and for some reason there was like a fucking fine print that was like, but if you ever delete the tweet, uh, we get to keep all the money. Uh, I'd be fucked. <laughs> I had to cross check my terms of service. Get this shit out of here. The food was good, though. But again. Stream Elements has a history of being scummy about not paying people if they do anything wrong. Well, you know, that's... I don't know about any of that stuff. I'm not going to talk about that stuff. But I will say that uh, I have, a, I have like, an agency covering my back. So... That has nothing to do with me. I have representation. All right, chat. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna play. We're gonna play this game. This is gonna be a weird one. This is an interesting game made by uh, Kira, who made uh, Lost in Vivo, and. Uh, Lunacy? Yes, this is a... This is a... Pretty cool concept. I'll be right back. on virtual headset that locks him into the video game and doesn't allow him to log off until he beats it or it kills him in Minecraft forever beep boop beep boop beep 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 well uh here we are Basilisk 2000. <clears throat> got this thing, uh, got this thing, uh, got this thing plugged in. It had some slime on it, but I got it plugged in. So your notes start player in Havenwood. All right. Well, let me take a look around here. We got some game settings. Let's set the max volume to two. Hundred. <laughs> okay, you can't set it higher than 1.5. You can lower it. Good. I was worried about that for a second. Render distance, player weapon. I'm guessing that probably means we got a light. We got box. That's cool. We got weather. We got tree, foot. That's a, just the blue. Uh, save thing. What's this? Okay, we got some area. We got some like audio. Things. 
not really sure what that is. Really is. We're on a dev build for an old game. Oh! Okay, that one does say don't use. We're not supposed to use that one. Well, let's take, let's hang on. So notes, start player in Havenwood. Load Havenwood. Man, you can really hear the floppy fighting to load this game up. Oh, <gasps> donkey. Whoa. Where? Hang on. Put me on the ground. Here we are, chat. Back in the day, this is what video games looked like. Errors and all. You couldn't ship an update and fix a game, so it would just launch like this. And this error, why, that's an NPC. Hello there, PC name. Welcome to Havenwood, our quiet little town. Okay. That's, uh... Fascinating. Who, um... Who, pray tell, are you? NPC HW4? Interesting, interesting. Anyways, NPCHW4, you're dead now. So I'll see you later. Forever. Perish. <laughs> Wait, they're still technically alive because they're an error, but... Man, guys. This game kind of crazy looking, though. Havenwood statue of the torn knight. He really looked like that, chat. The real Havenwood knight looked just like that. That's real. That's how they looked. Over here, we have... Hello there. Yuck. This is a peak full town. You'd better be good. You'd better be good. Okay. What is this texture? <laughs> what is this texture? There. What is this? NPC Goward 2. Well, NPC Goward 2, I'm removing your darkness. That didn't change anything. I'm raising your darkness to 100%. Do you have anything? What say you now? You better be good. Uh, well, NPC Goward 2. I've made you very small. Forever. No parole. This is a peaceful town. You'd better be good. Okay. Starting area, okay. Outside town needs work. Okay, well, hang on. First of all, let's raise the render distance to 500. I want to be able to see what I'm actually doing out here. I don't like not being able to see. Ooh, get that shit the fuck out of here. I... Get that out of here. Okay. Now I can see... You see, the old engine wouldn't have been able to run this, but we're running this on a 32,000 gigabyte RAM PC, so we can load up that distant terrain. We can actually see what's happening. Let's talk to the other NPCs in town. You better not cause any trouble here. I'm watching. I don't plan on it, sir. Doggy. Doggy! It's a shame you bumped into me, doggy. We're giving you more health. I don't want you to die. 500 health. And now, we spin them. Isn't that fun? And now, we make them big. That's much better. I prefer this version of the game. Doggy. Hello. Truly a beautiful day indeed. That it is. There's a cat up there. No. I don't think we can give the houses health. Hello? Hang on, I'm just gonna... Let's just get this fucking house out of the way. Okay. Hello, little cat. 
Glad I got the developer's tools for this game so I can do all this fun stuff. <coughs> Grab the cat. Lower itself to 10. Then raise it up back to 40. Then make it small. Then bring it down to, to the proper elevation. <coughs> Hello. You're kind of wiggly. They're jo they're they're jiggling all around. All right, well, spawn player here and bring up journal slash main quest slash start main quest after they come in from the open sin cell. Open sin cell. Let's remember that in a second. I can kind of clip my face into these buildings. Hang on. Wait, what am I doing? Can, I can actually already nail clip. What the? NPC HW1. Hello there, young traveler. Fancy a drink, perhaps? Not from you. Slash me kills NPC HW1. <laughs> what else we got over here? Big dog, what's this up here? What is this? Effect smoke. Placeholder for smoke particle. Okay. And the thing here, that's the start trigger. Okay. What a beautiful town. What really, what a beautiful fucking town. Uh, but you know what the real problem is, is that I can see. So we're gonna set the render distance to 5... Eh, 50. Eh, 25. Eh, 50. Eh, 10. Now this is how games worked back in the olden days, chat. This is just how it was. Wait a minute, why is there smoke working on that one? Hold up. Why the hell? Smoke test, but that's working. Why is this one not working? It don't matter. I'm gonna fix the render distance to 1,000. 900. I wanna see forever. I can turn off the lighting. Which just really helps the dog look like a dog. Doggy. Good doggy. Very good. We can turn off... Well, we can turn on some kind of fog. Okay, we can turn off the trees as well. That's cool. So this is how the game was supposed to look. This is exactly how it happened. This is exactly how it looked back in the year 2000. This is how games look. Alright, well, what if I set my player weapon to one? No, I'm getting sick of the birds looping. Don't like that. Kinda like that. Don't really like that. Eh. 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 What, but where's like the spooky haunted one? Welcome to our village. A thousand years of turmoil fell upon this beautiful land. I don't understand what this game is. Well, let me explain. Anyways, let's go to that starting thing that the game was telling us about over here. Spawn here and bring up a journal slash start main quest. Open sin cell. Load open sin. Let's see how the beginning of the game, maybe that'll make it all make sense. You have traveled far, first by boat and then by carriage, to the realm of my city, of light spreading through the land, 
and the king saw her no more, or saw the man. The nights are growing strange. The urge fog spreads. And the days grow hot and dry. You're flying awake. And soon famine will follow. And now you arrive at your childhood town of Haven. I was born here. Does this open Havenwood now? Chat, let's... Let's play this game right. So let's get in the game. Okay, no, 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 get the fog back on. Let's get in the game. And let's, like, actually, like, treat this as if this game was working. Let's get out there. Wow, it's been such a long time since I've been in the town of... The beautiful town of Havenwood. Hello there, please see your name. Welcome to Havenwood, our quiet little town. Yeah, shut up. All right, I always, I always hated this place, and that's why I'm leaving forever. Into the distant realm, beyond, beyond the town. I don't talk to, yeah, I don't talk to errors, mistakes. As a fully modeled character in the video game, I don't hang out with you. Wow, this, uh... This one could use some work. The, uh... Yeah, the, uh, that, that wheel on the other side could use a little bit of... Use a bit of work. But hey, it's not a big deal, chat. It looks like this is the edge of where they made the game, actually. What the? Oh, turns out I can just scroll to move faster. Ah! Ah! Ooh. I'll teleport me back. Dude, we should actually be careful. Hero Brian could be anywhere. You're right, chat. Hero Brian is real in this world. Hello? I'm searching for the lost hall of skeletons. The Lost Hall of Skeletons. I bet it's this freaking way. My god, oh my god. I bet the Hall of Skeletons is, hang on, there's a sign. Man, these devs really fucked this game up. I, I understand why they didn't release it, ever. Crossroads, Havenwood. I wonder if I can just assume that Crossroads is the name of the next cell, because, um... Well, uh, this one's, um, up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that one doesn't really exist now, does it? Let me check the other way, though. What is the name of this NPC? Who? <laughs> Turn off the fog. Who is this? Who? Now, who, pray tell, are you? NPC Traveler. Yeah, well, now you're fucking dead. Chat, if you set someone to dead, they, like, become very difficult to select. Wait, hang on. Huh. It's good that I can see all of the local items. That's, I feel like, I think that's gonna come up later, chat. Is, is this a murder story? Wait, hang on. Back into the game zone. What's this? Some kind of statue. Wow. The Torn Knight. Wait, why was it, why is the statue finished over here though? Hang on. Foliage off. Is there anything hiding? Weird. Alright. Oh uh, well this place is I mean there's no, ain't nothing wrong with this game so far. Huh? Q What does it mean? What does it mean, God? God! 
What does the cube mean, God? The sorrow cube and start playing the song Sorrow. Prop idol of sorrow. That's not on this. That's not on local items. So anyways, I made the idol of sorrow fucking huge. Anyway, I made the cube big. Dude, it kind of make me sad to look at the cube, though. Is there anything else up here in these mountains? anymore. What the hell is this? Is that like a, is like a creature? Hail, traveler! I... I can't talk to them. Are you even real? Ian Serpent. Evil. But dead. Out here. What the? Some kind of abandoned goblin village. Hang on, let me check what's over. There's the town. Okay. So right now, foliage is off. Damn. So over here is where the, the goblin village is. Oh, huh, they really are goblins. Looks like I can't talk to any of them. They're just, well, fucking goblins. Is there anything in any of these buildings? What are you? NPC gob. Yeah, we just got goblins. We got it's a bunch of, what the? What the? Gob house. Get that out of here. Who are... The hell's that? Hey, hurry and save me. Kill them. I don't own a weapon. I'm afraid I can't do this quest. I don't own a weapon. <coughs> Cat. Kitty. Little guy. But also a goblin. I mean, I could truly just kill them all. And to know I've killed them, I'll simply send them to heaven on the house. I could basically just grab them all and set their life to zero like this. Would that activate something? Just get them all out of the map? Is that what this guy wants, this sick bastard? He just wants me to... That's a gob wall. Get the gob wall out of here. I want to select the gob. It's a huge gob. Send that guy up. Take his life away. Accidentally sent to hell. Well, I mean, I could live with that. That one might have been bad. This one, hell. That one, hell. Next one. Small. Dead. Even smaller. And hell. This one. Large. A little bit turned to the right. Dead. Heaven. Is that almost... <laughs> Damn, dude. This is like some fucking spooky shit when you look at it like this. Huh. Alright, you're next, man. Sorry, man. Dead. Heaven. I mean hell. Oops. You. Smaller. Dead. Heaven. Dude. <laughs> yeah, this new Death Stranding. Fucking crazy. What the? What the? Get me back in there. 
Thanks. Wretched beasts locked me up for drowning one of their cats. What? Huh? Wait, what? Huh? We're just gonna kill him. Hell. Damn. That's, uh... That's not great, chat. That's not good at all. We're gonna send that guy to the depths. Good kitty. Let me just kind of, like, take a look around see if there's anything else I can see. Is that a bird? Ew, nasty. Kill that. Do you hear the sound it made? Wait, what the hell is this? Hang on, gamer time! Fog on! Character on the ground! The accursed cemetery. The Croftmore Cemetery. My God. Who are you? Who are you? Where are the people of Croftmore Village? Keep your distance, traveler, lest you face my wrath. Here lieth Clarence the dead. It's a convenient name. Gone from this world, Budapest. Rip rest. Here lieth Kabag. There's a lot of names. Is there any of these that stand out? Beth hair Weblum. It can kill just with a glance. Huh? I still visit even though my family isn't here. They don't let those afflicted with the serpent's curse to be buried here. Oh, the serpent? I killed that guy. If, if, if you're worried about the serpent, don't worry. I got him. Here lieth Kabag the Knightly. That's the same name as before. Your eyes contribute to your own destruction. Uh, there's some weird graves here, chat. There's uh, some that don't really add up. I'm, uh, I'm not so sure about that one. They know about my astigmatism. You think? What do you think this is all about anyway? Is there another? It's just the one guy here, right? Hang on, I want to check something. Oh. Can't interact with them. Grab the whole grave. Huh. Are there any of these that don't look like the others? This is extremely eerie, Chad. I'm not so sure about this. And are there any that are like unmarked? Kinda, kind of a little spooked, Chad. I don't know what to say. Something, 
something weird's going on here. Something awfully weird. Huh. Maybe we, maybe we just move on. Maybe the, maybe we get the hell out of here. We go to the crossroads like the map says, you know? Maybe that'd be a good idea. Maybe we... Skedaddle. I'm out of this place. Or anything stranger happen. Let's just follow the quest. Remember we were trying to play this game like a normal player would. That probably means either A. Talking to that per- Hang on, let me check what their dialogue was again. What was your dialogue? Hall of Skeletons. Try that first. Oh my god. Ah! Mother of- They're real! Mr. Bones. He looks like he's on the toilet. Release. Don't release while I'm in here. Oh, wait, hang on. This isn't a... What the hell? Le... Le Zaga. Wait, what the fuck? Alan, what is this? We have better things to work on, David. Le Zaga. El... Zaga, release. Yeah, I'll release you. Get released. Oh, maybe he wants release. Maybe he wants to be smaller. It's just art. It just says art. This was actually supposed to be a like a joke about this guy on the toilet. It's really supposed to be him releasing into a toilet, I think. I'm, I'm standing by that being what this is about. Dude made a toilet joke. And that's why David B is mad. What's up with this place anyways? Huh. Door to missing. There's nothing behind it. Does the... Data say anything? Door to missing. Load. There's no way this works. Yeah. Well, there's nothing else I can get from this. Unless, like, the back of the door says something. No, the back of the door seems to be, uh, invisible. Yeah. Okay. Sus. Dude, that is sus. What the heck? Am I in the joke zone? <laughs> Alan! 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 What is this place, Alan? Alan! What the hell is happening? Defeat. Is this piece? And, uh, honestly, everyone knows this is a lovely piece right here. Defeat. I think I'm lost. Well, what's your name, guy? NPC HW1. Yeah, well, now you're dead. Get the fuck out of here. What else do we have here? What are the dark secrets? Does this... Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> God help us all. Wave. Dominance. Where are we? Chat, the see, thing is, with the design of this game, I can't- I have to go through this place. I can't just be like, ah, this place is memes, I'm leaving. It's like, the- no, the game design makes it feel like there could be something hidden here, so I have to look. 
And I hate that I have to. I do. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Slash me loads crossroads. We've made it to a new map of the game. This one's actually looking to be a lot better developed than the first one. This one's got like a lovely leaf. An autumn, autumn leaves falling. Music that doesn't infinitely loop obnoxiously. Wow. Oh. We're finally on our journey now. Oh, my parents could see me. Too bad they are both tragically stuck inside of a building because the building has no actual interior and they're just kind of clipped inside of it so they can't come out of it. Does this place just go for... This is a big map! Hello? There's a person here. Hail, traveler. Oh. What the hell? What the fuck? Just happened. Shit, I like ripped my... It ripped the... Fucking game out of my hands. For a second. Like, I... I my mouse went so... It looks so good so far. NPC? Goodbye. Goodbye! The only NPC that are supposed to be on this map are fish. Okay? And when we see them, well, we're gonna know they're there. Okay? We're gonna find the fish no problem. When we see them. But first, let's take a look over here at the accursed tree. We will know when we see that fish. Whoa! Whoa! Get me back up there. Damn it, I need to use this. I need to use the actual no clip. Okay. That's just a tree. What have we here? A cathedral. And a human character that hopefully isn't just like me and going to make a horrible sound when I get near them. I came all the way from my Sine Castle to see this chapel. Wow, that's wild. It's crazy because I, well, I, I didn't ask. And now you're dead. Stupid. Door to chapel zero zero. Dude, I found the fish, dude. Standard sword. Okay, I can't just add new swords. Give standard sword. Okay. It's just a standard sword, but I can't take it. Fish. Huge fish. I think I'm gonna go into the chapel. As soon as I check underneath it to make sure there's not, like, something wrong. And I'm, I also want to check the idea of the sword. Standard sword. 1G16. Oops. 1G16. Legally now, I own a blade. And with the E button, I swing it. And 
Okay, cool. Ah, uh, load. Let's go over here next. Load chapel zero zero. Let's check out the chapel. We hold the legendary blade. No. Uh, I spawned outside of it, but uh, you know, let me check and see. I want to see if there's anything outside the chapel first. Any anything strange? No. Okay, cool. Hello? I'm on duty. Don't bother me. Don't bother this. Stay in the light, citizen. Stay in the light, this. What is this? Long ago, in an age of famine and destruction, a brave knight stood against the dark basilisk. The knight slayed the basilisk, but even still the kingdom was lost. The knight cried out in pain as the only survivor in the land. The knight clutched his sword tightly and with one mighty swing cut himself in two, separating himself into day and night. It seems difficult to do. His day half took the form of a stone which spun itself over and over, eventually smoothing into an egg. His night half took the form of water, which flowed in a circle surrounding the egg and turned itself into a snake, forming great mountains and canyons, and the snake fell back into the water, creating the ocean. Oh, wait. And through their union, humankind was born. The egg shell broke apart. Okay, cool. We got there. Now, what the hell is that up there, though? What the heck is this thing? Placeholder God Ray effect. I see. And here we have the altar. It's a uh, null. There. Yeah. Well, this, uh, this place was very informative. I'd like to go back to too much lore for one area. Yes. I feel overloaded, dude. All right, here we are back inside this place. Let's just follow the path and see what we can see. Wow, it's so cool to get to play this old MMO. Wow, epic! What the? it just end? Wow, dude, it's so chill. There's the chapel. Hang on, I should actually like properly slay you just to be, just to be sure. Hiya! Defeated. So what the hell's going on over here? Hang on, first of all, give it all the foliage for a second. I want to make sure what is or isn't even real. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's just crossroads. Honestly, the only weird thing about this whole place is this strange creepy meat NPC who makes a scary noise when you get near them. Kind of odd. And I don't know why they do that or what they're really looking at or if there's any rhyme or reason to it at all, really. They're just... They're just weird. Some kind of NPC. And I don't know why they exist, but I do see a sign in the distance. And so that is where we will go. Yes. Is that a wizard tower? Hang on, get me up there. I see a wizard, a wizard tower trap up on the hill. 
This could this could change everything for my people. Okay, it's a lot smaller when you get close to it. Actually. Let us go introduce ourselves to the golden step. Can I use it? What was the hang on? Uh weapons. 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 1G 16 is sword. Uh, this golden staff. 1F31. 1F31. Staff. Okay. Hang on. Clean that up. Huge. Huge and cool. And we're just going to put label chapel so that we know it's also here. Cool. Uh, let's add the staff to my inventory. 1F31. Yes. Now we hold even more power. Is there anything up here? No, it's just... It's just a tower. I mean, this map is pretty good. Like, uh, the whole... Like, yeah, the weird meat character was strange, but, I mean, he's such a small part of a large package, you know what I mean? So it's like, who, what's the big deal? And now we're on our way to Nemur. As soon as I've searched the entire perimeter of the area, yeah, so far it's a 5 out of 10 game, guys, for real. For real, yo, 5 out of 10. But, like, a, 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 a soft 5 out of 10. It could get, it could become something more. There's a chance... For evolution. Hello. Rip Fourthwind Blecky. Franco Starn. Leith Reeve Webdale. Hello. Ha! 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 Defeated. Hello. Ah, hello. We seem to have lost our holy relic, the holy serpent fang sword. Keep an eye out, will you? They want the holy serpent fang sword? Would it be the standard blade? I don't think so, but I could add it to my character for a second to see. 1G16. Is it possible? No. Huh, well, I mean, unless they lost it under the- God, it is- I don't like how the human bodies are underneath the fucking graves. But I mean, like, that's just, like, interesting world design. Like, I'm- I, you gotta respect the hustle of these devs to add such a detail to their decrepit old product. You really do. Because they definitely did not have to do that. But I think we're going to Nemur now. Because I'm not seeing anything else under this map. There's no sign over on this side. All right. Chapel. And Namor. All right, we're going to load up Namor. For now. Wow, setting changed quickly. Ah, uh, yes, the village of Namor. A beautiful desert town. And the birds are fully stationary in the sky, just as I remember. Yes. Hello. Local. Can I interest you in my wares? What are you selling? Steel Club 200 Tack. I'm not fucking paying you. 1G12. One G twelve steel club. Ooh, if I've not been pressing save, does the stuff go away? 
Oh no. Oh no. Hang on, load. Hang on, let me just check. Load. Crossroads. I might have to be saving. Nope, we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. Everything's fine. No one panic. All right, well, anyways, I'm stealing this guy's weapon by using dev tools, so, uh, no hard feelings. What's your name? Do you have a name? NPC 9? Dead. Looks like I'm not going to be trading anything to you. Ever. One G twelve. Cool club. You like water? No, this place is dry as bone. Ask someone else. Looks like you're dead then. <laughs> this game's badass. It really lets me kill people. And that's cool. Huh? Okay, we're good, we're good. Who's this? Please help us, my mother is sick and needs healing water. Where are they? Are they in this house? Are they in your comically small home? Oh shit. Afflicted with curse. Wait, what's going on with her head? Whoa! What the heck? Yo, I don't think a fucking healing water is gonna help with that. What the hell's going on with them? Just kill them. I did it. I won. Defeated. What's going on around here anyways? Doggy. What a waste. Corpse hanging from the gallows. There's no like dev notes on this map. This map is uh... Well, the music's wigging me out. I'm actually just gonna change it. Let's change it to the spooky dungeon. Wait a minute. I'm going to reckon that I can tell which every map is in this entire game from the little, uh, from this? Wait, Basilisk Fight. Okay, I guess I could probably ID every name of a map in the game from the actual OST list. Not bad. Spoilers, bro. Horrible snake creature. Look what you did to the civilians of this town perish. Wow, that thing had a lot of HP. What the hell was that? Serpent. Just a serpent? It was super evil though, Chad. It was at 90% when we saw them. The obelisk. Perhaps the answers to our questions lie within the tower. Or maybe it's just a fucking decoration. Yeah, I don't believe it. What did I say? Something's off about this place. What the hell is that? I know what you did, smile. Huh? I didn't... I didn't do anything, man. Man, I didn't... I didn't do nothing. I don't... What's this? There's more out here. There's a... Some kind of... Some kind of weird... How do, how boats even get here? What is this? 
Nah, 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 man. What is this? Prop. Sin it? It's alive. It's dead now. But it could be alive. I don't know what dark means. I've I've slain the orb, chat. The orb has been defeated. It's gone now. But why? Why did I do that to it? What did it matter? Turn off the fog. Give me infinite render distance. What the hell are we working with here? We got some kind of goblin house over here. Hello there! Hello, creature! Who are you? Oh, wait. You're not a goblin. No, that, they really did look like a goblin from very far away. All the healing water is gone. I've heard to get some, you have to go all the way to Pelsar. Okay. Fucking hell. Get. God damn it. Sometimes the texting, like, doesn't really want to work. There we go. Get. Healing. Water. Pelsar. Copy that. You've been a very good help. Help! <laughs> Yeah! Oh, that's what a crawler sounds like. Good. Good. What else is out here? That's the edge of the realm. What's this over here? Some more travelers from beyond. Surrender your tack or die. You have to pay to pass us. Dude, I'm literally the god of this world. What are you talking about? You're dead. You're dead and in heaven. And by heaven, I mean hell. Stupid idiot. And you? Dead as well. But before you die, you're gonna get small. And then you're gonna die. And then it's hell. You two are all right. You stay safe out there. It's a hell of a world. All we have left here is the uh, horrifying pyramid and spooky skeletons and... What is all this? Is there models of these things? Huh. Why is this one not even like on the surface? Sand whale skeleton dead. No, well, now it's alive. I've given you purpose. What? Huh? Wait, no, 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 no. I'll take you back over there. You can make them alive. Nature's beautiful. Yeah, there's something beautiful about it. Who are you? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about all... Oh, this guy... Yeah, this guy's dead. This guy, we're gonna... We're gonna kill this guy. He's dead now. We are, we are, we are cleansing the serpents from this place. Alright. Uh, some kind of buried house. Just normal. Just normal stuff. I don't believe you can enter this pyramid. Yeah, no, this place is nothing. Unless there's like a label on the outside if I go up to it. No. No, no, no way in. No way in. This pyramid's unlabeled. There's no way to get in this thing. Let's get the hell out of here. Something's wrong. Let me hang on. Let me check the top. No, nothing. Maybe these two travelers have something to say. Whoa! What the fuck? It's been a rough day at the office. <laughs> He's our prisoner. Move along. Who the fuck is this? The office? Dude, please. 
office. I guess I'm gonna go to the office. Please don't be memes. Please don't be memes. Don't be memes. Please. Hello, I'm a, I'm a traveler. And I don't know uh, who I am. Where am I? NPC Allen. Allen? Allen? I'm in your video game, Allen. Or, or, and so are you. Uh, Alan, work, work, work. Oh, uh, Alan. Oh, hang in there. Hi, I'm Alan. I made all the 3D models used in Basilisk 2000. I am very tired. Lol. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm the programmer in charge here. Hi, I'm George. I made the music for Basilisk 2000. I'm excited for you to hear it. Well, hi, I'm Dave. I'm art lead and made the textures for Basilisk 2000. Hey, I'm Cassie. I do animation and make all the AI in Basilisk 2000. Hey, Cassie, wh uh, how about you pick up the fucking pace on uh, your shit? Because um, I ain't seen no animation or AI so far. Kind of lazy. Kind of lazy. All I'm saying is you better be dead. All right, at the rate, at the rate this is going, you better be dead. This better be like, this better, there better be a reveal where Cassie's dead. Because at this point, I don't think she's done anything. I haven't seen AI. I ain't seen animation. I saw some fish move. That's about it. She animated some fish. How you doing? I'm David Bunch. I'm the chief engineer and manager for Basilisk 2000. What's up, David? David B's death. Yeah, but like, what's the fucking catch? Something's off about this place, Jeff. What? Just in case. What is that? What did that fucking say? Where am I? What did that? I was trying to read. I couldn't tell what it was saying on the picture. Huh? There's only one of those. It's just under his desk. It was a gun. Not going. Does that say not? I, not. Not going to keep taking it. Uh, yo, uh. <clears throat> yo, David B, are you good, though? David? David Bunch? Are you good? David? <laughs> David? <laughs> Dave? Yo, how much dark everyone else in this room have? Yo, uh, just like a quick, uh, quick check. How much dark the others got? How much darkness is in your souls? Can't quite see to target anyone else. I actually can't. She can't. I actually can't target anyone else. Move everything else out of the way. Move everything out of the way. Oh, I can target him from this. George. Made the music. Dark. 0%. Alan. 0%. Cassie. 0%. David. Bunch. 50%.
Dave, Ciro, Greg, 100% life zero. I did this one, right? Was Greg the guy I got? Did I do something to Greg? Or did, was this Greg like this? Where's Greg? Greg, where are you at? I don't know if I did a bit or not. I can't remember if I did a bit. Greg? Which one of these guys is Greg? Oh, I didn't do that. So Greg's the programmer in charge here. What if I bring him back to life? Uh, well, um, well, I got a busy day still, um, he was dead and also evil. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Chad, I gotta go to the next, um, the next zone. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go back to. No more. Ah, uh, back to scenic, beautiful No more, Chad. Everything's fine. Rot. Why there rot on the roof of this house? Hang on. Why the heck this roof got rot though? No reason. No reason I can tell. Hang on. Huh? Escaped. Huh? Papa! Something weird's going on, chat. Something real strange going on in this here town. At some point, we gotta take a look around and accept that something's awry. Something's Something's in these here hills. Oh, there's a sign here. So we need to go to Palathar as well, but there's a sign here. Let's go to it. Let's go check this out. Crossroads. Why did I come out all the way by the town then? Huh. Weird, Chad. It's just fucking weird. Well, to Palathar. I bet this place is going to be really cool. Wow. The legendary temple town... Uh, Sprawling metropolis city of Palthar. They really made it. Scenic. Let's get, let's get the heck in there and take a look around. It's a little... It's got a lot of... Uh, unsafe slopes, but aside from that, it's pretty well put together. Lots of... Lots of cool design. Very reminiscent of fucking Vivek, which is kind of making me a little... like It's kind of making me sweat. I don't like that. I actually changed my mind. I hate this place. I don't like thinking about Vivek. I've given up. You should do the same. You gotta cut, you gotta cut toxicity out of your life. You gotta cut toxicity right out. Alright. Anything else in here? No. I've given up on you too. That you see, they're only like that because they were at sixty percent dark. 
But that, 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 that wasn't them saying it. It was the darkness within them that said it, okay? That's the thing. You gotta remember that. There's a lot of darkness in their soul. Oh, hey. Welcome, traveler. I'm afraid there isn't much to see of the city nowadays. Why? Zero darkness. We can trust the monk. He has zero darkness in his soul. Not one ounce of darkness in his soul. Totally pure. But I'm still going to take a look at the city. What are you hiding from me, monk? This city's nasty. I actually, the design's kind of stressing me out, actually. Uh, hello. Palathar used to be known as the city of the forest, but since the water is gone, all the trees have withered away. How toxic are you? Zero percent toxic. Just another good guy. Bro, there is no ground. Stop! It's a, it, The game's still in development, chat. All the healing water is dried up and the trees have died. What will become of us? Zero toxicity. Dude, I don't know, man. I just don't know. How could anyone really know? Yeah, I'm gonna take a look around all these funny little spires. Like, what the heck's even going on over here? Anything? Nah, it's just, it's just a whole, it's just a big old tower. I think these are all just decoration, these towers. I saw one thing that, hold up. What is your purpose? Yeah, lots of doors. Wait, what? Door to missing. There's a lot of door in the local. This area needs fall protection, David B. Let's take a look at some of these like weird, weird spots on the tower. Like there's this spot right here. What is this? Nothing. There's a lot of like little... Whoa! It is fucking Vivek. I hate it. Greetings. Do you seek transport? Cheap rifts to exception eight are in stock. Travel? Exception eight? Exception eight. I mean, yeah, you can obviously tell this game is very deeply inspired by Morrowind. <laughs> and that's a, oh, that's a good inspiration to have. Section 8. So where is I? I saw a hole. Where is it? Show me where the door is. Now. Cut the fog. Cut the foliage. Where's the giant fucking door? Show yourself! What the hell? Am I an idiot? Huh? What? Surely this door must be invisible. What if we bring it back to zero? On the X and Z, maybe it's like actually out of bounds. Is that po that might be possible. It could be out of bounds. Oh wait, I can follow the coordinates. It's 
It's at 244 to 246 according to the bottom, but I'm going to follow what's here. So 139. That is out of bounds. 139, or at least I thought it was. 139, 246. 139, 246. And then it technically be straight up. So I'm going to just bring it back down. I don't see it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to me here. Wait, hang on. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to bring the door to me on this, on this platform. Even though I can't see it, I should be able to put it on this spot. So I want it to be at uh, Y0, 225-256. Two twenty-five. Okay, this door should be visible in a couple of seconds. It is aligned. Now we're gonna bring it down. It's invisible. It's not actually here, but bring it down to zero. Set the scale back to normal. Legally. There is a door right here. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Okay, I thought it would be easy. But I don't think it's going to be allowed like that. Damn, guys. Can't believe this door is freaking fake. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I really thought I'd be able to go in through this haunted door. But I can't. <sighs> I guess we'll just have to go somewhere else like Exception 8 instead. Oh, you're right. I should have checked the wireframe. Fuck. God damn it! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh. go back. Let's check this after. We've not been using our full pat. Wait, what was the name of the place? Pelthar. We've not been using our full power, chat. We've been using but a fraction. This time, I'm going to see. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. Oh, uh, what? Okay, so some of the textures are... There it is. There it is. Now I can see the bones of the game, you see. You see, now I can see the bones of this video game. And I can very easily find what it is I am looking for. I'm just going to go to where the door is. 244. 246. It should be right here. The door is right here. Show yourself. All right, well, I'm going to exception eight now. We're going to exception eight.
Let me see this game's bones. Whoa. All right, let's get back in there. So th what's the name of this place? Exception 8. So this place doesn't look as good as some of the other places. It seems pretty in development, if you know what I mean. But uh, we've got the... We've got uh, what we ha what we have here is a um, effect light beam. It does not seem to work. And we have Alan is tired. A test trigger over here. And what looks to be straight ahead at the end of this hall. Alan. Alan. What's going? Um. That was that old menu music we don't like. So is that all that there is in this place? Exception 8 is just... A fucking noise that loops? Without all the flora, this place is deeply depressing. But there is an extra error. Greg, dead. Get to work, bleh, bleh, bleh. So did Alan make this, or did everyone hate Greg? I think Greg like did something. I think Greg might have done something. He's 100% dark. Guys, I'm starting to think people might not like, uh, may not like our boy. Enter the wire realm. Enter the digital zone. I'm getting digitized. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. Okay. Uh, shit. I don't know what the next step is then. I think I'm going to scroll through the old music. Chapel, Taurus Town. We're going to load this. Taurus. I feel like I made a mistake by entering this place. Hail, Traveler! I see you've also made your way to the remnants of Taurus Town. Fuck, I'm slipping. Oh, fuck. Let's get, get back on the donut. My milk went bad today. Bro, ain't that the way, bro? NPC David. What? Huh? What? Wait, I didn't do anything. This is a donut. It is very sweet and very good. Huh? But if you've never tasted a donut, what? you wouldn't really know. David Lynch? What? Huh? What? Huh? My astigmatism. I can't. I can't see what's. Oh. 
froggy. Froggy. That much is it, but it's just some kind of technical issue, chat. Uh, nothing to worry about. Happens all the time. Main Tavern of Havenwood. Some kind of some kind of weird technical problem was all nothing really really nothing at all even to talk about. Uh we don't need to worry about that anymore. Let's um let's try to find another place to go. No. What if I just try to load null? No. This is technically a song. I'm trying to see if there's like anything in it. Okay, so I would hear it if there was something here. There is not. Huh. Load area. Okay, there's no just areas. Basilisk, Chapel, Taurus, Nemour, Great Hall, we already did. Load storm? Load dungeon. No. Palethar Temple. Load arena. Oops. Load arena. Okay, that's one I can go to. What kind of things are there in a place like this? Do your worst. You have no power. You have no idea how strong I am, man. They loved it. They actually loved it. I did that. All right. Uh, what about you? Have at you. Okay. Okay. We got some animations happening now. Some of the video games are actually getting made at this point. That's good. Have mercy. I'm disarmed. Don't care. I think I won. All right, well, uh, is there anything else? No, there's still this door tree. OF 16 placeholder. I don't think making the player fight each boss again in order is a good idea here. Hang on. OF. 16. Let's see what this is. Oh, zero. The dark axe. But what good is this? What value does this hold for me? There's a, there's a side hall over here. Okay. Uh, we got some, we got something. We're heading into the bowels of the arena. And. Oh. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Huh? Now, what the heck is that, my dear? What the hell? Uh, David? Um. Man, dude. Skinned. Wait, what? There's something right here with an invisible, like, collision. I guess I'm gonna try to load cell skin after this. Uh, but first I'm gonna check out the rest of the map. Because there is some other stuff in here. And then I guess I'm going to check out Cell Skinned. This is up in the... 
crowds. There's nothing on that side. Huh. Well, I mean, you gotta give them some respect, though, chat. The graphics they were able to pump into that corner, fucking inspiring. I can't wait to die. <laughs> they love me. They love me. They love me. They love me. All right, anyways. All right, there is no skinned. Uh, evidently. So this is just a haunted hallway. Can't select... Well, hang on. It's got collision. How the fuck... Wait, what? I found the axe. How the hell am I colliding with something that doesn't even have collision? If I click on the door, it opens the placeholder. Like, that's- that's where we're at right now. Huh. And this is activating that Null String song. Wait a minute. Skinned. I selected the item. Can't do anything about it, though. It's just here. It's just a fucking blob. Okay, well, um... What the? Oh, for a second I thought this was something new. Okay, well the place got really quiet after that. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep trying to tinker around see if I can find any more maps. Cause, um... Well, there's nothing I can do about that place. Great Hall was the, um, dungeon. The skeleton dungeon. Try like dungeon of one. Maybe load dungeon one. No. We did the graveyard. No. That's everything. Ha. Huh. Sure there's something I'm forgetting. Chat, we're running on to like the last 20 minutes of time that I have, so I am like open to like if you have like play uh, like, if you have like directions to go, like if you remember like a t like a thing that I read that I'm just not remembering. Exceptions one through seven. That's interesting. No. You missed something in the crossroad. Okay. Well, I remember they wanted like that thing that was lost, but I don't know if I ever found it. Castle. Okay, we'll try castle. No. Maybe just load. My Sine? No. Re load Chalop. Load. No, there's no way it's the full name. Oh, it's the full name. Okay. Ah, yes, the kingdom. At last, we've made it. What a beautiful realm this is. It's kind of sparse on content. Uh, be on your way. Okay. Whoa. Hello. Please, the guards won't believe me. The Minotaur, it lives in Krimger Dungeon. 
Okay, lady, just give me a second to look around before I go to Krimger Dungeon. No one's allowed inside right now. The king is sick. Well, I mean, I'm going in. <laughs> well, I mean, that's interesting and all. Anyways. King? King? Uh, hang on a second. Uh, King Mikhail is dead. Fully infested by the darkness. It had to be done. It had to be. 46% dark. You shouldn't be here. Wait, how do they... Place ain't right. Just play. Hang on. Cut that. Yeah, get rid of that. And the foliage. Hail, fellow traveler. A damned witch stole my clothes and axe. Is it that person way over there? Oh, wait, no, that's a sign. My Sede Castle. Havenwood. Well, uh, let's go to Krimger. Krimger Dungeon. The Minotaur awaits. In the dungeon. Keep your wits about you. Okay, this is too scary. Okay, too scary, man. Too scary. Let's turn on the lights, man. The Minotaur is somewhere within these halls. A rat! <coughs> no darkness within its soul, incapable of feeling darkness. Pure. Absolute pure. There's more of them. Wait, hang on. They might have killed this guy. Hang on a second. Mutilated corpse. Yo, what the hell? Oh. Item blood sword. Yeah, we're equipping the blood sword. Uh, what is it? 777S? Seven 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 S S S S seven 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 S. Okay. Whoa! Yo, it's so it's so edge. <laughs> I got it, guys. Hey there, watch out! The Minotaur is still around. Sneak, sneak. Thanks for letting me know. I don't think he's gonna stand much of a chance anymore now that I'm wielding the blade. What is this? Shitty fucking map design. Shitty fucking map design. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Holy crap, I just clipped right out of the fucking map. Why are there so many of these? Shit level. Like, actually just really bad. We're not, we're not gonna keep walking through all this, Chad. It's ridiculous. Oh, hello. There's more rats. <coughs> Mutilated corpse. <gasps> it's the Minotaur! Hang on. Oh, that was really easy. Killed him. Yeah, they were full of darkness. Packed to the fucking brim with dark energy. And what's, uh, what's under here? What pray tell is this? Healing fountain. I feel like I needed this for something. But I can't, like, interact with it, so, like, uh... Oh, yeah, no. Not much to be done about that. 
And what uh, what's down here in this horrifying hole at the depths of the dungeon? Let us take a look. Another door. Is it also missing? Door to missing. Starting to get a little pissed off at the amount of shit just missing from this game. I don't think there's much else to see in here. Surely I didn't. This game feels unfinished, not going to lie. Yeah, guys, I don't think there. I think this game might be, uh, might be garbage. Guys, I think this game might be shit. Like they didn't finish it. Now, what do I do? I am still open currently to backseating for destinations on where to go because uh, we are running low on time and I would like to see as much as possible for them. Load ritual. Oh. Huh? Man, guys, what the hell? Hang on, I'm actually curious about something. One second. If I... No, okay, I was like, because this game has, like, some stuff that makes it feel like if I just opened... It... I would just, like, open the folder for the game, I would just see the names of the levels, like, one of those kinds of things, you know what I mean? No, it doesn't. So this is, um, this place is kind of a shithole. The texture, the texture work is really something else, though. What is this? So there's a couple of serpents, some evil creatures. Animation is going to need a lot of work here, more atmosphere. I trigger boss phase one. I want to fight the boss. Hang on, let me fight the boss. George, this track will not fit the theme. Did you even read my script? David. What the? That's the basilisk! That's the final basilisk fight! Wow. NPC torn basilisk face two. Why would this not fit the final game fight? I could imagine battling an incredibly powerful basilisk to these games. Okay, hang on. No, wait a minute. Hang on, wait a second, George. George, hang on a second. What? What, that's it? We don't get the rest. Or did I go too far away? Hang on, get... Okay! All right, George! George! Dude, honestly, kind of slaps, George. I don't like the sound of someone like slurping the last liquid out of like a like a cup of soda, though. You know what I mean? You hear that? Like there's like someone like using like a straw to like suck up the last little bit of liquid out of a soda like cup. Which I don't really like. All right, chat. Where next? We're running out of time. We're running out of time. In the office, set everyone but David's health to zero. That's psychopathic. 
that's psycho. That's that's unhinged, actually. That's yeah. I'll settle their health to zero, all right. The good old fashioned way. Everyone but David. If you say so. I'm Alan. That's not David. Dead. Greg? Already dead. George? Dead. Dave? Dead. Cassie? Dead. Oh. David? David? I, uh, David, I didn't do anything wrong, David, but I am telling you right now, I'm wielding Soul Edge, the inverse of Soul Calibur, one of the most powerful swords in this realm, and I will slay you in twain, if holy shit. I mean, I didn't do this, the game did this. What the hell? David! I'm sorry, please no. Don't no, please no. I should have expected this. Stop, you can't do this. Okay, gun's gone. I can't let him find me. Okay, well, um... I sure hope that offing this person doesn't cause anything to happen. It doesn't matter. Move NPC out from cover. Really? That's psycho. That can't be anything, right? Nah, it's not doing anything. I might have fucked it up, though. Hang on, I'm gonna reset it quick. Office 2000. Yikes, dude. Dude, that's a yikes. Who was this? Dave. Anything happen? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, we have time for like one or two more spots. Where's David? I don't see him. I haven't seen him in the whole map. He's not been here. What the fuck is moon, Chet? Yeah, you can't spawn stuff. Load escape. No. Let's go to the moon. Load moon. Okay. You think David went to the fucking moon? Oh, um, okay, uh, well, here we are, chat, on the moon, you happy, you took my sword, David, oh, I see something over there, oh. There's something in the distance over here. Oh. 
David. David, is that you? Within the egg? Is that you, David? Inside of the egg? A cold angel rests here. Yeah, uh... I don't know how that relates to me, dude. Fucking weird-ass egg. I can still move quickly if I scroll. Let's get up into the sky and then I'll be able to see something. I thought I would be able to see something, but that didn't play out. Was that a face? I don't know, man. There doesn't seem to be much out here other than the cold egg. The moon is a sad face. I can't fly that high. Or I'd be able to check. I'm stuck like this. Just trapped up here on the moon. St stuck inside of the video game. Unable to leave. I'm gonna try to go in the egg. Egg! Dude, it's so hard to traverse the map, like, quickly. I'm just gonna walk normal. I'll just walk normal. Whenever you scroll, your character only goes forward. There's no, like, elevation shift. Scroll once. All right. I'm going in the egg. That didn't work. I think this is it. I think we're just here. Walk to edge. I've been falling off the map. So how do you leave? Probably by alta foring the game, gang. Probably, uh... Dude, the moon's freaking... Flat. Load moon again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the moon's gonna suddenly be changing, Chet. Not yet. Still the moon, Chet. Still the moon. Still as moon like as before. Load leave. <laughs> Load fuck off. Hang on, we can try it quick. I'm running out of time. It's so- I really wish you could, like, move better in, like, the walking mode. Without your character flopping out of the map. With no clip. Okay. Load big. That's not a thing. Could try that. Nope. Huh? Loading leave. Hello? Hello? I don't have time. We're running out of time. It's a bunch of planes. Or an airport. Is there any NPCs here? Huh. 
there's definitely a lot in this game that I will just not have time to do because I really honestly just didn't anticipate it to be so big. I mean, I pay, it, it costs money to get, but like I didn't expect it to be this big. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's not good. Huh, well. That's Basilisk 2000. If people want are curious about what this game's, like, the dark, I'm sure there's a lot of game left in this game. Oh, the, hang on. All that's left to do, leave. Spooky weird. I'd be shocked if this game has, like, a true, like, and that's how you win the game. Hang on, I'll punch in one more really quick. No, that's nothing. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'll see you guys later. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we're raiding Joe, because I have D&D &D right now. So I'm going to send you guys over to Joe. I'll be over there. It's been a pleasure. See you all tomorrow at the usual time. Thanks for coming on by. See ya.